disgruntled. I'm disgruntled with the entire cryptocurrency community, and I'm sitting here thinking, I'm about done with it. I'm about had it. Talking about forking the Bitcoin blockchain. It's like enough with the forking already, okay? You know, so Bitfinex has been hacked, you know, Coinbase, you know, has got their issues screwing up on the ETC. You know, they're not going to support ETC. I mean, if, if I was an Ethereum fanboy, I would be all about ETC. You don't fork the blockchain when you know you give up the, the, the when you give up your private keys and trust them with a third party and that third party screws you over you don't fork the blockchain you lose your bitcoin you lose your ethereum you lose your litecoin you lose if you give up your private keys to a third party and you lose your money you lose your money way to go don't give up your private keys hold them duh you know, if you want, if you want insurance, when you give up your private keys, you go to an insurance company and you purchase insurance. You don't fork the blockchain. Okay. I'm just, I mean, I ain't going to sell because I don't know how to and I don't care. I just want, I just, I'm getting into this space because, uh, you know, I see it as the future. But the way they're looking at forks, people are looking at forks to uh, solve all of their problems. You know, they're going to destroy Bitcoin. They're going to destroy Litecoin. And they've pretty much, in my opinion, already destroyed Ethereum. If, if to me, you know, the Dow hack, okay, you gave up your private keys to the Dow, you know, you gave up your priest keys to an untested code, you lost 60 million dollars, guess what, <coughs> that happens, that happens when you give up your private keys, if you're on an exchange someplace, you have to know that exchange can get hacked, you could lose everything, and, uh, I mean, that's what it is if you want to go to Lloyd's of London and get insurance. You know, there's uh, Marsh McClendon, they'll uh, insure anything if you got the money. If you want insurance, you go buy insurance. You don't fork the blockchain because your buddies, because your Wall Street buddies and your, your uh, you know, your investors are threatened over at Ethereum, so you go fork the blockchain. No, you you do better and you learn from your mistakes. They're looking at the fork looking at forking the blockchain to solve everybody's problem. Bitfinex gets hacked, lose loses a ton of, of Bitcoin and people are thinking, oh well, let's just fork the blockchain and get get everybody's money back. No. You should have bought insurance. Should have walked, walked into, you know, you should have bought insurance. Or they should have provided it as a customer thing. Okay, well, you lost your Bitcoin, but here's a comparable amount in uh, US dollars or whatever currency you agree to uh, be insured with. But if you don't have insurance and you give somebody, if you send me your private keys to hold and, uh, and uh, I run off with them. I don't know, man. You're just screwed. You're screwed. But I don't know. I'm just kind of. Uh, I see. I see people's greed and stupidity is screwing up the whole sphere. And uh, I've got that long-term time horizon. So. Uh, I don't know, man. I just...
just you don't fork the blockchain to protect to to solve your problems. You learn and you grow and you go forward. You know, it's computer money, it's digital money, it's not secure. You can lose it. You know, that's why I talk, you know, that's why I have multiple private keys. So if one does get hacked, you know, it's not all on one cold storage wallet. Because who knows what, you know, they say Bitcoin can get hacked. Oh, believe me, it can get hacked. You know, somebody could, you know, they can do it. Somebody can do it. Somebody will be able to do it in the future. That's why my time horizon is only five, ten years. You know, I figure ten years it'll, it's gonna, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But you know, once it's like, you know, ten years, I figure ten years is probably a good time. You know, gonna have all these, these growing pains and stuff like that. And uh, and uh, it's gonna be once, once it does have that AOL moment. moment to where, you know, everybody's using it or whatever, and maybe they'll come up with uh, fork coin that they just fork and solve all their problems by forking, and there'll be a freaking tree, so massive, you, you know, I don't know, I'm just a little bit, I'm just a little bit disgruntled with the community right now. And I'm just, I'm sick of all the drama, you know. Bitcoin, the way I see it, Bitcoin is the killer app. Bitcoin's the killer app. You want something touring complete for, for uh, the crypto world, you develop something like www.rsk.co, rootstock. And you set that on top of it. And you say, and then somebody else says, oh, I don't like the way that that program works. So they develop another one. They set it on top of the Bitcoin thing. You know? Litecoin is a good backup system. Or a good, you know, it's a good uh, price finder or whatever. Price discovery tool. It's a price discovery tool. And uh, it's an alternate to Bitcoin, and uh, they can work together. That's why I like Litecoin, gold and silver. But you know, if you got a new idea for a crypto, make a side chain, and don't make and make it so it's not competing with Bitcoin. That's what www.rsk.co does. You know, that's why nobody's talking about it. This is what kind of me off. You know, is that there's there's really cool stuff going on on the side chains and all of this kind of stuff, but nobody wants to talk about it because all all people care about in crypto is making a quick buck on some new coin. They want you know you missed out on Bitcoin. You should have bought it when it was three bucks. I should have bought it when it was three bucks. I was looking at it saying, eh, you know. And then it shoots up to 1200 and I'm going, damn. Well, you know what? Damn. Get in at 600 <laughs> Get in at 600 You know, but it's not going to do it tomorrow. It, it, it'll do it in time. And if we keep forking everything up, it ain't going to do it at all. It's had its time and it's done. And I'm telling you, if Bitcoin goes down, you know... I'm not going to trust Ethereum. I'm not going to trust anything else in this space. You want Joe Sixpack. You want the truck driver out there. You want the little guy to start using Bitcoin for everyday transactions. You're going to have to stick with the gold and silver of the thing. And if you guys fork that all up, ain't no way I'm trusting, you know, Goldman Sachs to come in and rescue me. Or, uh, you know, Wall Street all these people oh this is a blockchain well screw your blockchain i don't need it you know i don't need it if you screw up bitcoin and litecoin i'm out that's just the way i feel about it 
I'm not impressed with your stupid computers. <laughs> I'm not. You know? Look at all the money that's being lost. It's because it's computer money, you know? I'm, I mean, I understand the basic principles and I know how to secure my private my private keys to the best of my ability. But I'm telling you, when I cut when my when my stuff comes off cold storage, it's gonna be coming off for the for the purpose of converting it into a real world asset. I ain't gonna be in this. I mean I've got some that I'm gonna transfer my kids when I die, but I don't know. I'm just
tired of all the drama. I've got my goals with my Bitcoin and my Litecoin, and I think I'll stick with them. And, you know, if the community forks it all up, you know what? What are you going to do? I ain't going back into some new coin they create on a whim, and, and uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into Ethereum and try it. Well, we need to be behind uh, the hard fork Ethereum because that's what you know the banks want to do. Coinbase is not going to support Ethereum Classic. They say, well, you, if people want that, they're, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of... Coinbase is off. But I thank them because, uh, you know, they're kind of the hole that, that uh, you can hemorrhage, uh, is hemorrhaging funds out of the... Uh, closed system that we have right now. And uh, so thanks to Coinbase for that, you know. As far as Litecoin is concerned, thanks for nothing. You know, it's kind of like Coinbase is picking the winners and losers. They're not going to support Ethereum Classic because they don't, you know, because their buddy is over at Ethereum who come over and tell them what to do. So they tell them, hey, the hard fork Ethereum is going to be the winner. We need you not to support Ethereum Classic. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to pick the winners here. And so Coinbase, you know, I think Coinbase is... They're just keeping an eye on everybody who's investing in the space. That's why I say buy and hold long term on paper wallets so you can keep track and you can prove that you pay your taxes because that's what they're going to be concerned about. They just want their cut. And I don't mind that. I'm not an anarchist. I'm a libertarian. I'm not an anarchist. You know, I'm, you know, you you go to you go to what? Go down to Adam versus the man or what's that? Uh, freedom, whatever. You know, Adam Kokesh. Go to his house and uh, start snuggling up to his his wife, or uh, or uh, you know, go go uh, go try and uh, take some of his chickens and walk off. And, and I guarantee you, a hierarchy will develop on that on that place. Somebody is setting rules. Somebody is enforcing those laws. And, uh, you know, anarchy just doesn't work. I'm sorry. An archetype, or an archetype, you know, a structure, a structure tends to emerge. So, I'm a libertarian. So, I love, you know, my, my heroes. My dad was, uh, 1st Cavalry Division, you know, he's, during Korea, my father-in-law was 82nd Airborne. Uh, I grew up in the 90s, and there wasn't really any wars going on. So, boy, wouldn't that be nice not having any wars going on? You know, the 80s, the Cold War was, was a pretty peaceful time. Now we're just, you know, blowing the heck out of the whole world. And it's just that's that's a big reason why I want into Bitcoin and Litecoin is to take the power away from the war pigs. I don't know. But people are getting greedy. It's money. Hold fast. Don't lose sight. more important things than making a quick buck, man. Let's just treat people right. Do the right thing. You know? Give thanks to your creator. Appreciate the created. And, uh, stick with the guiding principles. And some guiding principles and money is gold and silver. It's been thousands of years. Stick with Bitcoin and Litecoin. Don't worry about flipping
weapon in trade. Hold your private keys and hang on because it's going to be a wild ride. Adios, people.